Paradise Cove offers a rare combination of challenge and beauty. Hello everyone, I'm Gary McCord for EA Sports. My colleague David Faraday is with us today and we'll be calling the action down on the course. Let's send it down to the first tee. Bombs away. You just won the long drive trophy ball. What's your take on this, David? I'd say mm, a little under 190 of the flag. Looks good. Should be safely on the green. Not dead on the stick by any means, but uh, made the green. It's respectable. From this distance, anything can happen. This is some of the worst putting I've ever seen. Sunday Tiger Woods for par. Makes his par. This short par five requires some real island hopping. The goal here is to hit the green in three. So play the hole conservatively to avoid the long stretches of sand and water that line the island fairways. Strong winds can also be a real factor. At Paradise Cove, par is a good score. You can pull a groin you stop your swing that fast. Oh, I think you find some sand. Ah, that's unfortunate. Could be trouble. Actually, Faraday, that's what we call the fairway. What's it look like, David? About a buck and a half left to the hole here. Well, I didn't see that one coming. That's a birdie to go one under.
Nothing fancy about this par three. A straight tee shot will hit the green, and backspin will keep the ball from rolling off the slope and into the water. Very nicely done. The two straight birdies. Makes his birdie and now he's two under for the day. Depending on the wind direction and the player's gumption, this par four can either greatly reward or severely punish risk takers. The isolated green makes for interesting approach shots and putts can also be a challenge. Where'd you learn to play golf? The school of slow motion? This ball is bombed down the middle. It's airborne, and it's right on target. That's just incredible. Sunday Tiger Woods for birdie. Got to be happy with that birdie. Got to be happy with any birdie. Dog leg par four, where reaching the green in two is easy. Staying on the green can be a different story. Approach shots should play a bit short to avoid flying the green or rolling off it and into the nearby water. What are you doing? Waiting for this to come out in paperback? Hit it. Break out your snorkel. This doesn't look good. Now that is definitely not going to end up on this course. All right, let's go while we're young. Here, hi. Huh? Get out of here with a bogey before things really turn sour.
Sunday Tiger for double bogey. Falls two behind with that nasty double bogey. Even the slightest air and tea drive can turn this beautiful par five into a real nightmare, especially in windy conditions. Straight tee shots can set up a possible green in two, but watch your approach. The green is small, slightly sloped, and lined with a couple of nasty bunkers on either side. What a powerful swing. David, what do you see? About 210 yards. Really easy to miss the green from here. Well, this one had a real chance of going in the hole. Looking for an eagle on this par five. There it is, an eagle. Your favorite kind of bird. Here's the Eagle Trophy Ball. The right club is key to this par three. Short tee shots end up with a lot of green to cover for birdie. Long tee shots need plenty of backspin to keep it on the green. got a lot of this one. Unfortunately, he's going to get a lot of the trees, too. And this is what happens when a good golfer hits a lousy shot. When good golfers go bad. Nothing wrong with that. That's two strokes lost to par. That's a double. A challenging par four that allows even conservative players to easily reach the green in two. However, approach shots can be tricky due to the small green and surrounding sand. Add a crosswind and par becomes something to celebrate. Nothing wrong with that swing. What do you 
half, David. Well, good shot to hit it on the green from here. We're right around 200 yards. That must have been quite a swing thought. We just witnessed a truly remarkable shot. The stench of greatness, not. It's this and you're looking at a bogey. Not much left to do here. On this par four, aim your tee shot to the left side of the fairway to avoid the long stretch of beach that lines the right. Be sure to use enough club on the approach, otherwise that final bunker in front of the green could be a problem. This one could be in trouble. Not a good break. is where a solid putting game comes into play. Sunday Tiger Woods with a birdie attempt. No matter how hard you think you have to hit it, hit it twice as hard as that. It's going to be slow up there. it was the right one. What a shot. Gets his paw. The fairway's undulations can be difficult to navigate on this par five. For the best vantage point, aim your tee shot at the top of a hill and hope it doesn't roll back down. Hitting the green in two is possible, but so is flying over it. Play your approach short. You might have more green to putt, but at least you'll avoid the sand. be a little more fiber in the diet. It's in the rough and there's a potential for danger here. That's really hard to do. Stop your swing mid-action. I see the ball, and I see the sand, and I think soon you'll see the ball in the sand. That's a nice bunker shot there. 
Looking to walk away with birdie on this hole. Strokes in that birdie putt to go two under. For this par three, precision is key. Choose enough club for your tee shot to get you to the elevated green, but not too much or you'll find yourself down in the dunes. Should be making a safe landing on the green. It won't be on the highlight reel, but we're on the dance floor. For a second birdie in a row. What a shot! It's easy to overshoot the lowered fairway on this par four, so shorten up your tee shot to avoid a watery setback. The green is small and elevated, but once you get to it, putting shouldn't be a problem. That's a check swing. This is heading for trouble. Jerk this one a bit into the long grass. this for three straight birdies. This will twirl a little to the left here. Miss this and you're looking at a bogey. Makes bogey and drops a shot. This par four winds its way over a mountain and poses one of the more challenging holes of the course. The dog leg right makes for a short tee shot, but the approach is where it gets interesting. The green is surrounded by beach, so play it right or it's the sandy lonesome for you. Remember, at Paradise Cove, par is a good score. Watch out, this one's not looking good. Oh, that one's in the deep stuff. It is indeed rough, but it could be much worse. I might be wrong, but I think this is heading for the bunker. 
Better get the rake ready. This ball's looking good. It's looking really good. Nothing wrong with that. Scrambles to save par. A simple par three, as long as you don't play it too short and end up in the cove below, just hit the tee shot straight to set up a possible birdie. Could be heading for the rough here. It's in the rough. Caught some rough here, Gary. Can't tell you how hot this one's gonna come out. Red Tiger means it's Sunday, and he makes par if this one goes down as planned. Solid par. The 15th hole is a par four that requires a strong shot from the tee. Depending on the direction of the wind, the second shot can be tricky. Play your approach too short or long, and you could end up in bogey country. Scatter a few leaves with this shot. Well, under normal circumstances, you'd probably say that that flat out sucked. David Faraday, 160 yards, right on about that. I have a feeling this is bunker bound. That's not a good break, it's in the sand. Great shot. That's a double bogey, and there goes two shots. Whee!
a par four that requires nothing less than excellence. Keep your tee shot straight and be sure to account for the coastal winds. Birdie this hole and you'll be the envy of golfers the world over. He's not going to be very pleased with this shot. Better sharpen your viewfinder, McCord. This is the short grass. This for an eagle, too. Okay, forensic Ferdy. What's this one going to do? It's a sidewinder, McCord. This one's going to go to the left. Well, it's tough to overcome nasty putting like this. Sunday Tiger Woods putting for birdie. There's a birdie, and he's now one under. Hole 17, the penultimate hole for any course. This par three calls for a solid drive from the tee. Aim for the pin to set up for an easy putt for birdie. I don't like the looks of this. Tough break. Can you believe that shot? This putt's for par. Make sure to read this properly. Should be happy about car there. The finishing hole at Paradise Cove is an epic par five that will test your every golfing skill. A sturdy shot from the tee is essential to succeeding at this hole, so play it carefully. Hitting the green in two is possible, but most players are lucky to make it in three. Set up a nice approach shot to putt for under par. I can't be certain, but this looks like it's heading for the rough. Eh, 
After all these years, I thought you could tell the difference, David, but that's in the fairway. Miracles do occur. Someday Tiger Woods with a birdie attempt. Nice putt for birdie. 